Hi, this is Lynn Baker. I'm the chair of the Jazz Studies and Commercial Music Department at the University of Denver Lamont School of Music. Welcome to The Shape Method. This is a lesson on a chapter from The Shape Method for Jazz Improvisation. Hi, this is chapter 12 of The Shape Method. In this video, we're going to deal with adjusting harmonic rhythm in a slow tempo context and direction changing using suspension escape tones. The idea of adjusting the harmonic rhythm for slow tempos is that as the piece is moving along at a slow value like this, you're feeling it divided like that. This graphic coming up will show you what I mean. Now keep in mind that the bass player and the drummer need to stay back at the old tempo even though they may be playing in their minds at this, at this subdivided rate because we want to have the soloist want the soloist to have the opportunity to play at the old tempo or the subdivided tempo and we want the comping instrument to be able to react with him at what level he chooses to subdivide he or she chooses to subdivide so there's an increased amount of rhythmic flexibility and complexity but the great thing about uh, doubling the tempo feel inside of you is that it keeps it from slowing down. It keeps it always moving forward. So doubling the harmonic rhythm with slow tempos very important and very commonly done by master improvisers. Direction changing with suspension tones is very similar to a bidirectional resolution. Remember in a bidirectional resolution you have a suspension and then a complementary, another note on the complementary side of that suspension, right? If the suspension is above on the beat, then the complementary side is below and the resolution is back up. With a suspension escape tone, if the suspension is above, the escape tone is also above and then it comes back down. So if the line's coming down like this, suspension escape tone up here and then back down. If it's a suspension escape tone that's underneath, then the line deflects down and back up. Direction changing with suspension escape tones is an interesting way to add kind of bizarre and sudden rhythmic shapes that are unexpected to your solo and will increase interest in the solo. Try these two ideas out next time you play. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the chapter. To go deeper into the ideas, purchase the shape method. You'll receive detailed information, more examples, listening suggestions, composition and performance exercises, and appendices of public domain jazz language, and an explanation of why the blues scale works, and more. Get chops on the concepts by purchasing the Etude Supplements Volume 1 and 2. Please subscribe to the channel and tell your friends. Thank you.